Do not try to find Brahma or be in some thought. Try, by the way, to avoid the temptation to capture Brahma in a thought. At the same time, try to observe the presence of the invariable in each of the thoughts. This is the contemplation of the real. Contemplate silence beyond thoughts. I must know that I am the truth of every thought. Even if the thought is of agitation or happiness, I am the truth of thought. A thought has no existence without me. He is something that shines behind me and therefore a thought cannot bother me. He depends on me. I can, and I must realize not only in the absence of thoughts, but even if there are thoughts. And then this is called meditation. What is that unchanging self that is to be noticed despite thoughts? That I is the silence. That is happiness. That I is fullness. That I is freedom. Nothing is missing. It is always free. The free. The silent bay. The silence that is being is not something different from me. I am the silence. I don't need to do anything to recover the silence. I can't even earn silence because it's not something that comes and goes. The agitation comes and goes. All those thoughts that seem to destroy silence that come and go. But silence is something that always remains. Before the agitation, under the agitation, and after the agitation. In an England where it is cloudy all the time, it seems that the sun is coming and going. In fact, the sun doesn't come and goes. It is the clouds that come and go. And the sun always remains. Similarly, the clouds in my mind go away. And I see myself silent. They return and then it looks like I get lost. This is how it happens. Silence never moves away from me. A thought comes and goes. Before he came, there was silence. And after he goes, there is also silence. Again. After another thought. There is silence. Between thoughts, there is silence. Silence is not something for what I have to strive to get. Thoughts come and go. Silence is always. And I still lose him. What does that mean? I ask because I proceed with my thoughts and I am taken by thoughts. I ask for silence when there is increased thoughts, varied thoughts, and so a charm is created. And if I proceed with my thoughts, I don't land. And my mind, for some association, jumps from one thought to another. Association can be from a simple sound to a rhyme or the meaning of a word. Like a monkey who jumps and catches the next branch, I also take the first thought and abandon the last one. This is why the mind is called a monkey. I must learn to break the charm of this mechanical trend of thoughts and discover the silence between two thoughts. And this must become a practice for me. So I should develop an aptitude to be with myself, despite the thought. And this special situation is called meditation. I must discover the silence between thought. How do I do that? Instead of having varied thoughts, I create identical thoughts. If the there is no association, no connection, just thought and space, thought and space, thought and space, the thought is the same. This only repeated thought can be a word, like the word amo. When do I think what's next? Silence and I do this to recognize that, despite having successive thoughts, I am silence and this new occupation, called meditation, helps me to discover with tranquility that I am always the same. Despite all the actions taken, the perceptions and thoughts, I keep being free. Which is silence. 